Hello, my name is Joel Dawson. I'm the Director of Production and Precision Ag with John Deere. We're going to talk to you a little bit about CES and the presence that we had there a few weeks ago, why we were there, uh, what we accomplished and what we learned. I'll start off with just saying, you know, this was our inaugural visit at CES. We thought it was about time that we, we exited um, the ag industry a bit and talked about what we had to offer from an innovation perspective to expand that message outside of where the ag industry is today. Um, really, it was an overwhelming success as we, we talked to a variety of different individuals that are definitely not your traditional farm show attendees. So why were we there? Um, we wanted to take a look at some of the advanced technology that was in the industry and make sure that we were keeping up with the cutting edge offerings that are out there. We also wanted to have conversations with some of those talented people that might not traditionally walk into a John Deere dealership or a John Deere office and ensure that we had open lines of communication with them and that we were able to talk to them about what John Deere is all about and what our mission is as a company. The third reason we were there is to really represent the agricultural industry. You know, we've, the agriculture industry has been great to John Deere for over 180 years. Uh, we feel like it's our obligation to help educate people on where their food comes from, on how hard farmers work to deliver a good quality product for them, and uh, that it just doesn't show up on the shelves at the grocery store. There's a whole lot more that goes on before that point. Explainability is a newer term, um, really come about in the industry since, uh, you know, portions of jobs are beginning to be automated or or auto automation or autonomy is, is being discussed. And the way I would define it is just being able to explain to an operator or an individual or a company or an authority what happened in a given situation. So if you think about uh, our S700 combine that we introduced this past year, uh, that machine actually leverages a variety of technology to recommend adjustments to its settings to improve the operation and increase the yield for the grower. We want to make sure that as that machine recommends settings or automates those settings, the grower understands what's happening, that they can consume that in a way that's very easy to understand and easy to modify should they choose to do so. So explainability in the context of, of agriculture and the context of the automation of a feature of a machine would follow that path. There are other industries where explainability is becoming more and more important. Uh, you think about the on-road automa automated vehicle um, space, and as, as things occur there, you need to be able to explain what happened and why it happened. So we're focused on ensuring that we're able to do that for our growers as, as we recommend changes uh, that, that uh, improve their overall operation. If you think back a decade ago, and you think about Precision Ag, and you think about where it's come from, you know, years ago, we had the enablement to do a lot of the things that, that uh, we can do today. They've been in the market for a while. Guidance, swath control, section control, things like that. Uh, but the adoption of those, uh, you know, it was kind of, you had, to, you had to trust that what you were investing in would provide an outcome of a yield lift or a cost reduction. Some of those products are no-brainers, like some of the ones that I named. But one that's maybe not as simple to quantify is site-specific variable rate execution. So if you think about site-specific variable rate execution, we've been, able to, we've been enabled to do that for quite some time. But the adoption has been generally slow over the past decade. Well, the reason that we believe that is, is because you weren't able to isolate a given variable. You had to just trust that the weather or some other element um, didn't affect your yield. Today, with our digital tools, we have the ability to document every step of that production system so that you can look at it in its entirety and understand if something that you did improved your outcome or reduced your cost. The ability to document, isolate those variables and understand things better is really creating a pull for precision ag technology. The technology that I just mentioned a few minutes ago on our S700 combine that was introduced last year, and we actually were showing at CES, um, we experienced extremely high take rates right out of the gate on the technology combine advisor that enables what I had discussed. So we're really seeing a transition from, you know, the technology's out there if you wanna adopt it, to, boy, I want that technology, how can I get it? So automation and autonomy, they sound alike. Um, they're two very different words. Um, when I think about automation, I think about automating a capability or a job specifically, 
When I think about autonomy, I think of we've removed someone from the car or we've removed someone from the vehicle. Um, it's easy to get distracted by that autonomy piece because everyone's talking about it. It's, it's in a variety of industries right now. But what a grower really cares about is farming better and farming better with the people that are their trusted advisors. So what we're focused on is automating the job so that we can ensure that the lower performing operator can perform just as good as the best operator, maybe even better with some of the embedded technology that we're putting in these machines. So autonomy, will it happen? Probably at some point. Are we looking at it? Absolutely. But we're really focused on making sure we can execute the job in the field today and tomorrow and next year better than anybody else.